I'm thinking about um, a situation that happens quite uh, often in uh, coaching, which is that uh, my clients come with, how to say that, Elizabeth, a little bit disheartened, right? It's like um, uh, doubting, uh, lacking the confidence that they could make it because somebody told them that it cannot be done, right? And um, and uh, so then the discussion is obviously uh, on one hand to contradict the ones that said it can be done and secondly to then support my clients in how to do it but the first thing which is coming back to this program uh, proverb is to say that the well, it's a kind of saying right there is no reality there is only perception on the reality Make sense. So there is not such a thing as a reality, or at least we don't know what is the reality. What we know is our perception on the reality and somebody else's perception on reality and so on and so forth. So at the end of the day, we don't know what is the reality. Not to mention that this is the first thing, the reading of the reality. And then based on that, we start doing something about that reality. So uh, when, therefore, my clients come with this opinion that, you know, this were told me that is not possible, I said, okay, let's see uh, what are the lenses through which that person uh, regard or say observes and, and sees the reality, right? So we go into this analysis of the other person personality so that hopefully with that we guess the other person perception on the reality and once we have done this right my client gets already kind of lighter in the evolu in the evaluation or assessment or perception of the reality and um and i believe that this illustrates the first part of the proverb which is that the ones who think is not possible should not stop the ones who think it is possible. Now we got with the client at the point saying it is possible. So then starts, let's say, the second stage of the coaching session, which is how can we do it or how can you do it? And then obviously, uh, once this um, lack of confidence or uh, disabling beliefs is out of the way, then uh, uh, the question is not whether it is possible. The question is how it is possible. And then we move therefore to the second stage, which is how it is possible. So coming back to the proverb, uh, once we clarified the, the lenses through which these persons that say it is not possible, once we clarify these lenses, it's very easy to get them out of the way or, let's say, to disconsider, forget, um, let's say, yes, uh, their, their view on the reality. And at the end of the day, how do we know that this is a reality? We don't. So let's better go with our perception on the reality and do something as a consequence of it. <music>